we will discuss the last part of the consumer theory, which is about utility maximization. Okay, remember from the previous discussion that um, there are three steps or principles in analyzing the consumer theory. First is that consumers have many preferences and we represent preferences of the consumers by using an indifference curve. So the indifference curve will tell us what the consumer wants. In the second principle, although we want or we face thousands or thousands of choices or preferences, but our decision is limited or being constrained by our income. And the third principle we'll talk about utility maximization. Given the preferences of the consumers and his or her limited income, how the consumer decides on what goods to buy that maximizes his or her utility. The maximizing market basket of goods must satisfy two conditions. First is that the basket of goods or the market basket of goods must be located on the budget line. So it is within, it is within the budget or income of the consumer. The number two, the market basket of goods must give the consumer the most preferred combination of goods and services. We can add the individual's utility map to show the utility maximization process. The individual or the consumer can do better than point A by reallocating his budget. In this discussion, we combine the indifference curve as well as the budget line. At bundle A, since it lies uh, within or on the budget line as well as the indifference, indifference curve, then that point or that bundle of X and Y is affordable. But the consumer can reallocate his or her budget by changing his or her initial decision. So, pwede dito. Let's say a prime. So, nag-reallocate siya ng kanyang income. So, that means the consumer increases his or her consumption or purchases on goods X. But at this point, at point A prime, that combination must be within the income of the consumer and also at a prime the level of happiness the level of satisfaction is the same as at point a right because a prime lies on the same indifference curve which is u1 as a or as point A. And similarly, see A prime also lies on the same budget line as point A. So again, these two bundles of X and Y, they are affordable and also preferable. Okay, suppose we will add another indifference curve. And also we will plot a hypothetical bundle of x and y let's say point c take note that the indifference curve u3 is outside now the budget line so ibig sabihin if it is outside the budget line then that is beyond the budget of the consumer or point c is not affordable Okay, again, point C is preferable than point A or point A prime, but not affordable because point C lies outside the budget line. Then we will add another indifference curve, which is U2. And we will draw a hypothetical point B at that curve. Notice class that point B lies on a higher indifference curve, higher than U, U1, diba? So, it follows that point B is preferable 
than point A or point A prime because um, point B lies on a higher curve. And also, at point B, the budget line touches the indifference curve U2. Diba? Or ibig sabihin, the combination of X and Y at point B is within the budget of the consumer. We can say that point B is the point of utility maximization. Point B is affordable and also preferable. Unlike kay point C, point C is only preferable but not affordable. C si A and A prime naman, affordable siya. But the indifference curve na meron sila is lower than the curve na meron kay point B. Technically, consumer will not choose bundle A or bundle A prime. Because at that bundles, the quantities of X and Y are lower compared to the quantities of X and Y at point B. So that's why point B is called the point of utility maximization. Or it is only the point where the utility of the consumer is maximized. The point of intersection or the point of tangency between the indifference curve and the budget line. So that gives the or the point of utility maximization. And it is also called the optimum point. Utility is maximized where the indifference curve is tangent to the budget line. And at that point of tangency, the slope of the budget line, ano yung slope of the budget line? The market rate of trade-off equals the slope of the indifference curve. Okay, remember that the slope of the budget line, which is the market rate of trade-off, is equal to the price of X over the price of Y. And the slope of the indifference curve is also equal to the ratio, the bar ratio of the marginal utilities of X and Y. It follows that the um, P of X over P of Y is equal to MU of X over MU of Y, which is also equal to the MRS of X and Y. So again, point B is called the optimum point or it is where utility is maximized and the tangency condition is satisfied. Suppose we are given with the following utility function. Like U is equal to X times Y and the price of X is 5. The price of Y is 10 and the income of the consumer is 200. So the question is, what is the quantity of X and Y that maximizes utility of the consumer? So MU of X, marginal utility of X, again, is equal to the partial derivative of U, partial derivative of this one with respect to X. I will discuss a little bit of calculus uh, for this example. Okay, so the expression or the utility function is in product form or in multiplication. So, ano yung rule? U is equal to X and Y. Partial derivative of U with respect to X. So, the answer is Y. Si X, may kasama siyang Y. So, although our concern is about X only, but in this situation, we cannot disregard Y. So again, let's go back to our discussion last time that so our base here or our variable x times its base. So it merong imaginary one uh, base jan, di ba? Nakatabi ni x. So x times one, so that is x. And ano yung rule of power? So 
it is always power minus 1. So, si x here, meron din siyang imaginary power of 1. Diba? So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, kumbaga, kung isulat natin, again, base times the variable, concern variable, dahil yun yung rule of power natin, one, uh, power minus 1. So, merong, it is understood na merong 1 power of 1 si x dyan. So, minus 1, so that's 0. And again, yung rule, if, if any variable or any number na merong 0 yung power, that is equivalent to 1. If x to the power of 0 times y na siya. x to the power of 0, that is 1. Or 10 to the power of 0 is 1. 100 to the power of 0 is 1. Or z to the power of 0 is 1. So 1 times y, the answer is y. So the mu of x from the given is equal to y. So, the same din kay mu of y. The same process dito kay mu of x. Partial derivative of u with respect to y. So, magiging x times the quantity of y to the power of 0. So, y to the power of 0 is 1. So, 1 times x is x. So, so mu of y is x. So, we can solve now for the MRS of X and Y. So just simply substitute MU of X over MU of Y. So the MRS of X and Y is equal to Y over X. For the market rate of trade off is equal to PX over PY. So we substitute PX to 5, then we substitute also py to 10 and equate that to the MRS. So if we simplify 5 over 10, so that is 1 half, uh, which must be equal to the mu of x over mu of y. So substitute, again, copy this y over x and equate that to one half or yung ratio of the two prices then we will cross multiply this will give us the equation for either good x or good y so magiging diba, x times one is equal to two times y the x equation is equal to two y how about kung si y ang kunin natin na equation? y is equal to 1 half of x or x is equal to 2y. So again, after we cross multiply these two fractions, then we can derive either or we can derive these two. So as long as the two or as long as the tangency condition is satisfied, then this, this relationship or this equation is attained. So from the given, ito yung budget line equation, BL equation. So from this equation, budget line equation, Okay, is either we'll solve for x or y first. So just copy the budget line equation and substitute the value of x to our derived equation kanina. Then plus 10y. So magiging 200 is equal to 5 times 2y is equal, that's 10y plus 10y. So... 200 is equal to 20y. Then, dividing both sides by 20. So, i-divide mo siya ng 20. Ito ring 200, i-divide mo ng 20. So, we can now solve for the value of y. y is equal to 10. 
and the quantity of y that maximizes utility of the consumer is 10. There's no other quantity but 10. And we denote that quantity as y as the risk or y star. Then we can solve for x. Again, x is equal to 2y, right? So x star is equal to 2y, then substitute our value for y, that's 10, right? So 2 times 10 is 20. 20 is the quantity of x that maximizes utility of the consumer. So the combination is 20x and 10y. Therefore, 2010 is the optimal bundle. So, and total utility is, using the equation, u is equal to x and y. So utility is equal to 20 times 10 is 200. So, at this bundle of x and y, the level of happiness, the level of satisfaction of the consumer is 200. And we can also check our answer if na allocate ba or na consume ba lahat ni consumer yung budget na available sa kanya di ba meron siyang 200 na budget for x and y so substitute p of x the price of x is 5 the quantity of x purchase is 20 plus the price of y which is 10 times the Quantity of y na 10. So, 100 plus 100 is equal to 200. So, by checking our answer, we can confirm that the income of the consumer is fully utilized.